Hey guys, welcome back to my vlog, welcome back to my channel, and welcome to another vlog. Why did I say it backwards? I don't know. <laughs> so, today I am going to be showing you guys the products I use on my face to do this makeup look. And these are the only products I use. I have so much makeup, but I just incorporated new products that I got in the mail today. Um, if you've seen my previous vlog, which is a Sephora haul, um, I am going to get my Shantikai powder sometime today between 4 and 8. Hopefully it's before, before Hubby gets home because if not, I have some explaining to do. But these are the products that I use on my face on a daily basis. And yes, my makeup routine does change according to season. Right now it's winter, my skin gets a little bit more dry, so at night when I wash my face and do my skincare routine, I use a Tatcha Gold Flake Oil on my face, finishing it off by the Charlotte's Tilbury Moisturizer. So, for the morning, I don't have to moisturize because I'm still moisturized from at night when I use all those products. and. Um, a new product I tried is a primer and moisturizer all at one. So it is pricey, but it's what I found best. Instead of putting on my um, Charlotte Tilbury's moisturizer and then my Hourglass airbrush um, primer, this is both in one. So it just takes less steps out of my routine for me to do it. So we'll start with my makeup bag this is my makeup bag where all my makeup goes and i love it because i can just hang it anywhere and you know it's this is a makeup i use on a daily basis i have been, been able to buy me a makeup organizer which i will but before i do i need to make sure i don't have one because i know i had quite a few it's just which box are they packed in so so first of all, the palettes that I use are these beautiful palettes that my daughter gave me because I am venturing into colors. This is the one I use today. That's a beautiful color theory palette. And then this one's my favorite. This one right here is my absolute favorite. So, this one's really, really pretty. So these are the two palettes that I'm currently stuck on using. And then for primer, like I said, I just got this baby in the mail today. Um, I got it on Sephora. Like I said, I did a Sephora haul before this. So this is a vitamin enriched face base, all in one primer and moisturizer. So, I love Bobbi Brown products, and this is so far the best moisturizer and primer on one that I have been able to use. And look how flawless. I love a dewy look in the winter and fall. For summer and spring, spring I still can get away with dewy look, but for summer I try to stay away from dewy looks and more on the matte side so but i still will do a dewy look occasionally because that's just what i love and then i ordered three more of these two big bottles and another small one because i am out of the big bottle and this is basically hairspray for your face it's for your makeup but it does an amazing amazing job holding it all in So, Patrick Sar is amazing. I was going to get his um, sweat proof primer, but again, I was going to have to moisturize and use that. So I decided to go with the Bobbi Brown, which is way more pricier, two times more pricier, but it does the job. And for mascara, I just got this today. This is my by far my favorite Lancome Hypnosis Drama 
volumizing mascara and the smell of it it smells like they're perfumes and products that florally scent I love it and this is something I swear by and I have been using this since my sister introduced me to it when I was 15 and I am 38 now so I tried really expensive mascaras like for example I tried an $8 mascara from Shantikai and I didn't like it. I gave it to my daughter. She didn't like it. She gave it to her sister. So she liked it though. Okay, well my, my, my older daughter did like it. So but this one is by far the one I will get. I did not get it waterproof because when I wash my face at night I wanted to come off easily and stuff like that. So if I cry it's gonna be a mess, but <laughs> I'm not gonna be crying anytime soon. Maybe when I see my bank account I'll start crying. Stop. It's so funny. And then what other products I got today? Oh, they're in my um, other bag. And then these are one of my favorite blushes by Anastasia Beverly Hills. This one was given to me by my ex's wife, ex-husband's wife. And I had two of them, but the other one, the pink had glitter in it, which is not something I'm a big fan of. So my daughter really loved it and she's like, can I have it? I'm like, go for it, honey. I have way too much stuff. And then Rare Beauty, my highlighter. I'm always having trouble opening it. It's Mesmerize. It's a pinky tone. I've been trying to get my hands on her white one, but it's always sold out on her website, on Sephora, everywhere I go, it's sold out. So I am gonna try I got I got I signed up for emails on both her site and on Sephora to email me. Let me know when it's available so I can snatch it. Also have that in liquid form, but that's that. This is my favorite ride or die concealer by Kat Von D. But I wouldn't be able to tell you the shade because it's scratched off. So but this one is the one I'm using right now. As you can see how it brightens my under eyes. Really awesome. And then for contour, I am wearing my Gucci one in number three. I have it. Come on. There we go. I have it in number four. Number four is more of a cool tone, grayish, and this is more of a warmer tone. I like warmer tone bronzers, the cool tone. Um, I only wear it if I want more definition in the back of my cheekbones, but right now it is in my makeup drawer, and this is the one that I am using. I also have my translucent powder by Hourglass. I put this one on after I'm done doing my foundation and concealer. I put this one on to set it. And for foundation, if I can find you, I use my Tom Ford foundation sticks, traceless foundation. So, you know. This is in the color 7.5 Shell Beige. Beige, I can't say it right. And this is one of my favorite foundations to use during the winter because it's so emollient. You will not catch me wearing this foundation during the summer because it will make me super oily and sweaty. And no, this is a foundation I use only in the fall and winter. For summer, I have my Hourglass foundation sticks that I use for those occasions. Um, Rare Beauty mascara, I have to take this one out because this one's going back to my makeup drawer. I'm going to give this one to my daughter. What else? My Chantecaille powder. This one is in the light medium shade um, only because I wanted something more translucent. But I am going to be getting the medium, light medium. No, wait. 
this is like medium. I'm going to be getting the shade medium because as you can see, I hit pan. And this powder alone cost me $94. So I need to get it before my husband gets home because if he sees the receipt, he's going to flip. And then these are my other two favorite ride or die blushes. This one's by It Cosmetics. It's an ombre pink. I tend to stay with the natural pinky tones, but today I decided I wanted to go more dark, so which is why I used my Anastasia Beverly Hills. This one's by Charlotte Tilbury, and I will be buying a different, more pinker one. And of course, my powder brush, blush brush, contouring brush, my um, highlighter brush, <laughs> another contouring brush, but I don't use this side because they're so packed. I feel like I get too much product on me, but I use this side to contour my nose. And then I have my eye pencils. I only use three. And this is new. I just got this today by Rare Beauty. It's a concealer brush. And guys, the tools you have does make a difference on how your makeup application goes. A lot of people don't like using brushes to do foundation because of streaks. Well, my foundation is really, really thick, so it doesn't leave me streaks. It blends out pretty nice. But this blends out the freaking concealer so good. It doesn't go in my creases and I can't stop staring at myself today because like, oh my god, you don't have creases under your eye and it's the Rare Beauty. Sorry, it's 11 o'clock. And there's a hair in my brush. And this is my foundation brush. Basically, it's a Kabuki brush by Fenty Beauty and it's the 160 face and body. But this one really spreads my foundation evenly and doesn't leave any streaks, which is why I swear by this brush. And this is just a blush mixed with different highlighters that I created. Yes, I like to create my own blushes sometimes. If I can't find a blush that I really want with some type of oomph with it, I will make it myself. So this, is, this was a Laura Mercier translucent powder. But I decided to make me a really neutral blush with pink undertones and a lot of highlight. So, and what else? Brow, brow brush, eyeliner. Another brow brush that I got to take out. I just keep it in because of the spoolie, but don't need it really. This is my main brow brush. This side is the crayon. And then... This side is the powder you go over with it. And this is what I'm currently using. And then my Charlotte Tilbury Moisturizer. I do have my um, Beauty Blender Powder Puff. And then a random eyeshadow that my daughter gave me yesterday. And... I thought it was so beautiful. I'm like, yeah, this is the color I would use on one of my eyelids. Well, not one of my eyelids, on my eyelids. So, I'm going to keep it. And then I have one of my lip oils from Ulta. In case I can get to my bee balm, I have this in my makeup bag. So, I like to moisturize my lips before I start doing all my makeup. So, these are the products I use on a daily basis and um, this is all I use basically on a daily basis and I'm just putting stuff back in my makeup bag I did take out other stuff that I'm no longer using in my makeup bag and I will show you other stuff I got in the haul, which I should make you watch the other vlog, so you can see. <laughs> okay, now if I can get these in. Okay, they're in. Uh, 
Okay, so this is what I have in my makeup bag. Let's see, there you go, my makeup bag. I will get one of them organizers soon. So now, hold on, because I know my camera is gonna stop. Let me stop and start it. Okay, so what I carry in my this is my little makeup bag that I carry in my purse. And what do I have in here? I took out this lip balm. This is a bee balm and it's s'mores. But I took it out because I'm going to leave it next to my bed. So at least, because I have three different ones. I have the watermelon, the honey, and the s'mores. And then I have a strawberry, the two strawberries and another honey coming in the mail. The honey and one of the strawberries is for my daughter. And one of the other strawberries is for me. So basically I have almost all their collection of bombs. So this one's staying by my bed. And what do I have in my little makeup bag that goes with me? Um, I have my Rare Beauty Compact. It's basically a powder puff and some blotting sheets. And that's why I have this one. I have both my Scentbird perfumes, my Versace Crystal, and my Dolce Gabbana Light Blue. I carry my straw, not strawberry, watermelon lip balm and my honey lip balm. My honey lip balm is the one I use the most. This one's my favorite by far. And of course, a Charlotte Tilbury sharpener. Now let's go with my lip liners. I have this not so brown. It's these two are my light browns. And then I have a really really dark brown. Come on. There we go. Somewhat brown. And then I just got these two from Charlotte Tilbury. As you can see, the, the brown shades, one is very neutral and one is dark brown. I am wearing this one. So this is the one I'm wearing. And then these are my three Charlotte Tilbury's lipsticks. I got two today. I got one a while back. Which one? Um, I got the Pillow Talk. This one I've been using like crazy. I love it. It's really awesome shade. And then I just got these two. I tried Catwalk. I haven't tried Super Fabulous. So this is a very, very, very nude shade. And it's the one I have on. And this one I'm dying to try, but I have not tried it yet. It's a very chocolatey brown. So, there you go. You see it, how pretty it is. So, I haven't tried that one yet, which I usually switch my lips around. I'm like, where are my bee bombs? put these back right now the perfume I'm wearing is Shador by Christian Dior because I did get fragrances but I always buy the small bottles before I commit to the big bottles so I got this one by Christina Hera the blush one and it smells delicious I got her original one these are like such cute packaging like I can only imagine how cute the big ones are. And then I have the big one of this one of the Versace Crisp Bright Crystal. And I also have two of them for my scent bird because that's how much I love this one. And then I got the um, Versace Bright Crystal Absolute. Oh no. And then one more. 
this one it's you can carry it with you and it's a roll on but i wouldn't want to carry it with me in my um this is the one i'm wearing right now but i don't want to carry it with me in my purse so you guys give me one second my doctor's calling me sorry guys my psychiatrist was calling me but everything is going so good they got my medication perfect i am not depressed i am not sad i'm just sad that i broke my bank account but other than that we're good we're good so back to the fragrance i was last talking about chador by christian dior when i look at it it's like an oily consistency but it's so good it smells so good like it's perfect i know it's making my daughter sneeze a lot right now but i just I love dab dab super dab and yeah it's travel friendly but this is not something i would want to travel with because if it was to break in my purse i would be pissed this was 55 dollars so yeah, do I want to break a perfume that cost me $55? No. The most expensive perfume I bought... How is... I thought my daughter was talking about me, but... The most the expensive perfume I bought is over $665. I'm hearing this. <laughs> the dog's like, I'm hearing this. But yes, yeah, because I'm obsessed with perfumes, but... I really, really, really want to try Carolina Herrera's iconic perfumes, but I did not want to spend over $200 on her big jumbo bottles because that's all they had at the store. So I went online and I got this one for $19 and I got this one for $15. Yes, they're still pricey for some tiny little 7 milliliters bottles, but the smell is incredible. Incredible. I think I like this one a lot better than the blush, but I'm still gonna buy it both big bottles because they are delicious smelling. And when I do, my daughter will get these little small ones because she wants them. So, because look how cute the packaging is, and they smell good. Yeah. So when I get the big bottles, I will give her these tiny ones, but they are still glass, so you gotta be careful with them. And um I have a lot of glass figures I don't want to put out because I know Coco likes jumping everywhere. I know. That's why I keep all my perfumes in the high high shelf because my dog likes to be everywhere. But with that being said, those are all the products I use for my makeup. And those were the ones I used today for this makeup look. God, that highlighter is so blinding. Look at that. It shows up on camera too. Wow. And I love the lipstick because it's so... It has a hint of pink nude. But it's not like... It's very subtle. The reason I wanted to wear such a subtle lipstick. Because I wanted my eyes and my cheeks to do the talking. Therefore, I figured if I do two crazy eyes, cheeks, and lips. It's just going to be too much to look at. So I figured I'd go for a subtle lip, work on the eyes and the cheeks, and let them be the stars of the show. So with that being said, I love you guys. I hope you find this entertaining and informational. And if you have any other recommendations on perfumes you would like me to try, please feel free to drop a comment. Subscribe and turn on your notifications so you know whenever I upload a vlog or a short. Because I do release vlogs Monday through Friday and then Monday through Friday. Monday and Friday. And then Monday through Friday I do shorts. So therefore, turn on your notifications so you know when I am uploading and i am gonna be doing a mini giveaway because i did say i was gonna do a mini giveaway once i reached 50 subscribers but i will be doing a huge giveaway once we reach 100 subscribers so if you guys can subscribe and help me reach that goal that would be so awesome and it would mean the world to me so with that being said, this is Life is Monica Miller coming to you guys from my house. And basically, this is the stuff I use and I love and I swear by when it comes to makeup. So I love you guys and I will see you in my next vlog. Bye!